Join our psychedelic smoke sesh as we explore exciting new dimensions of existence, thought, and possibility. We'll take you out of this world and blaze through infinite realms while occasionally forgetting what we were saying. (laughs) (laughs) This This is is Higher higher consciousness. Consciousness. Three, three, episode, or no, season three, episode three. Yes, three and three. Yes, three and three. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. It's a master number. I love that. It's going to be a special episode. Yeah, it just has to be. I mean, just the 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 numbers say so. The numbers say so. I mean, you start smoking. Anyway, but we did earlier. It is higher consciousness day after all. So anyway, we are talking about what are we talking about? Healing. 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 What is healing? Well, we're going to talk about it. How can we heal? We will talk about that. We will talk about that. Can we heal consciousness? We can talk about that too. Does consciousness need healing? Self healing, collective healing, healing of all healings, different kinds of healings. Deep healing. Deep healings, little baby healings, healings. big healings. All the healings. Everything that you can think of. Holy water healing. (laughs) Be cleansed, be cleansed, be cleansed. It's so funny that you brought that because I almost put that on the table and I was like, no, I don't want to like come off like religious or anything. And then yet yeah, here you are. It made like, its way anyway. Like, so. Yeah, like I immediately looked at it over there and I was like, be here. <laughs> well, we're not going to just talk about when, you know, the priest used to, you know, back if, if you're still a practicing Catholic, uh, we both grew up Catholic. And so I remember being in the pews especially on the days where he would bless us with holy water. And the closer you sat to the front, the more doused it, like you got in holy water. So um, the more drenched, yeah, the more you drenched you got, and the more and holy, the, and the essence the more of the blessings spirit you needed. Of holy. <laughs> so yeah, no, that so was it became always like a thing. Interesting so ritual. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it always was. But I mean, it's still a very interesting ritual. You know, there's a lot of shamans that do it, even where they'll, uh, take Florida water and they'll put it in their mouth and they'll spit it, you know, in order to like cleanse as well too. So, yeah. My my not so subtle way of saying. And let's smoke and before we let's start get talking some too much. Meta Jane. <laughs> before okay. we start talking way too much. Well, first I want to start off because I always talk oh. about my higher consciousness bundles. Oh. I want to open up the space. Ex- um, oh. and then we'll get into doing that. Well, I just made this before the show, for the show. <laughs> Especially for the show? Yeah, for, for the this show, show, for this show. Like this very one? Yeah, and I'm My going goodness. to make and make sure I have one for every show <laughs> <Treat>. now. <laughs> A treat to all. Because I burn through them so fast. (laughs) So these are my higher consciousness bundles that I make via a meaningful dream, which is my own personal thing that I uh, do alongside with Mm -hmm. higher consciousness with Dave. Um, But one of my things that I love to do with a meaningful dream is to make different uh, smoke wands that you can use to cleanse your home, as well as replenish and restore energy in your home. And so I made one called Higher Consciousness, inspired by this show. And it has hemp leaves, blue lotus, chamomile. You hear that, people? It's got hemp leaves. Hemp leaves. Mary Jane. But it's not, You don't worry, you can't, like, you're not going to get high off of it. You can't just take this thing and be like, and you can't smoke it. Oh, my God. No, no, no. It's meant to be used as a different, because, again, Mary Jane is also very cleansing and healing. maybe, like, a nature spirit can, like, take this and be like... I'm sure a nature spirit could do that if they really, really wanted to. Yeah, I'm sure that they have. There we go. Like, I wanted to get a better smolder on that there one. There you go. There we go. Smolder it, girl. So I just want to just cleanse the space. I'll catch all the and help us <laughs> And help us open up the space so we can really reach higher levels of higher consciousness. I really just want to elevate us even a little more. Ready? Sorry, that's my last one. 
We open to we open the space to the north and the element of air. We open the space to the west and the element of fire. We open the space to the south and the element of earth. We open the space to the east and the element of water. We open the space from above with the moon and golden tectite. We open the space from below with metal and pyrite. Bless you and thank you for being here with us. Thank you to our spirit guides and our ancestors. And we are ready to really dive into our higher consciousness. Beautiful, and it's still going. I love it. Careful, don't burn a hole in the tapestry. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to hold it actually so people Ooh, can yeah. see and I'll bless it? You gonna do a Libya okay. on it? Or Libya on it? <laughs> I could actually. I'm gonna do. We can do a little bit of putting in a little bit of the bell. I, just, I, I mean, was, I was like, like, yeah, that's a good this. idea. So this is the first time I was just like, oh, okay, we're doing this now. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'll try things a little differently. Okay. I'll put a little bit of music in there. Careful, don't hit it. It's okay. Be careful. I'm gonna spray <laughs> my my Leo <laughs> Luna essence that I also make be a meaningful dream. I am wild, hear me roar. I am wild, hear me roar. I just wanna spray above it. I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm, yeah, I'm, just, yeah, I'm like, we're just I'm, now I'm kind of like, ooh, I'm curious. What's like, what's going to happen Like, if we do this? Oh, ooh, what if we cleanse there. cleanse the weed, too? Like, <laughs> what if we cleansed it? And just like, I don't know, just gave it a little. I'm just very curious to see how different of an experience this, this is going to be. Now, this is a super meta experience. Yeah. We're, we're cleansing <laughs> marijuana with, with smoke. Marijuana. With that's uh, coming from marijuana. <laughs> ah, wow. My mind just got blown. <laughs> Well, this right. is very much like what a, a what Olympia is, is, yes. a, is a cleansing that utilizes different elements and sounds and things like that. So but I gotta it be was honest. really interesting. That was fun for me I to do. I know I do too. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I got lost. I was like, ooh, this is fun. <laughs> well, bit. that's okay. We're good. Okay. We're coming around okay. to it. We're right. there. You ready? Yes. Okay. Everyone take a deep breath. Bless you, Mary Jane, and thank you for being here with us today. Bless us during this show, and may what we come out <laughs> and say be opening for the eyes and the minds of souls who are listening and watching. May this episode of healing also be healing for those who are listening or watching. May we continue to move forth and have a dope show with fun, informative information, and a great time. Thank you, and amen. She got it in there. She got it in there. I was getting a little sidetracked. So I was like, I'm like, here, like, there's other things that were happening. And I was like, wait, wait a minute. What, what am I doing? I got, <laughs> I like, there was a lot of, like, thoughts about healing that were coming through, like, as I was doing that. So it was really hard to, to focus there for a second. We can use this as an ashtray, too. He was like, yeah, I'm trying to smoke. I'm just trying to get a good draw on that first one. There you go. Because it's... Was it a little tight? It's a little tight, but it's oh, all right. No, we don't want it to be too tight. Well, that's <laughs> a sexual innuendo, and we won't be going there this evening. We already though, did, maybe. though. Anyway, <laughs> so back to our topic at hand, which is healing. So healing, Liz. Not sexual healing. Sexual healing. healing. Oh, I was hoping it would just stop right there. Just like, <laughs> and then done. Nope. Well, this is pretty tight. I told you. <coughs> anyway, so healing. We're getting off track way too easily. So, well, how would you define the type of healing that we want to talk about today? Because I think a lot of people, when we say healing, mm -hmm. you know, some might think, um, you know, going to the doctor. Or some might think, you know, just putting a Band-Aid on it. Or some might think like, uh, you know, like Wolverine, like healing himself, uh, you know, like instantaneously. There's all kinds of different levels of healing. There's bodily healing, but there's also spiritual healing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, there is spiritual healing. It sounds like that's kind of where we're going to head is towards 
the more spiritual healing. I mean, that's what we do on this show. We go to the we go spirit to the, of it. Yes, we you do. I mean? Well, and it's interesting, too, because by going to the spiritual version of healing and my personal belief, I believe that that tackles the physical, the emotional, as well as everything else, because I think it all goes back to spirit and all goes back to energy. And so if we can really identify that energy within us, and I think it's not only going to heal one thing, it's going to heal multiple things. Yeah, um, you, look at me. <laughs> are we doing smudging? Yeah, with, we're going uh... to smudge all yeah. that ails you. <laughs> You're gone. Be gone. Yeah, no. Which I, is a smoke cleansing. Well, you know, a lot of us, I think we have um, physical ailments that oftentimes we attribute to, you know, physical things. We don't think about the fact that maybe there's a spiritual, you know, cause for we talked this a lot, effect. Yeah, and we talked a lot about this in uh, the first episode of shamanism, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. About how, like, it's always goes back to physical, too. Just so right. for those of you who are curious. Right, yeah. I mean, healing and shamanism, I mean, that's essentially what shamans are doing is healing. But, I mean, with healing, um, you know, I think you can uh, you can dive more into the, the overall, you know, implications of both spirit and your physical body. Because your physical body, you know, is half the equation, yep. right? You need to be able to, like, balance out the two in order to heal oneself fully and completely, right? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you might be able to come out of a situation and be physically healed, but maybe that spiritual side of you still needs, you know, a lot more repair. Or it wasn't fully recognized. Yeah, it wasn't fully acknowledged. So, I guess an example would be, hmm, let's say for, like, a breakup. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a really good example of where there might need to be... Yeah. spiritual healing sure. um, as well as other kind of healing especially if that relationship has like was, defined you as an identity right you know especially I mean? if it defined you as an identity <coughs> or if it was really traumatic <coughs> like if you desire um, to find yourself as that husband or wife or as that mother or father within that family right and that, depending on how long you were in it and even right. if you weren't in it for very long right it could still be very traumatic and take some time to to heal so well, i know sometimes for me uh, this is probably a sidetrack but i know for me Whenever I was in a relationship, oftentimes I would dive into that other person's like personality and who they were and kind of like try to live in their shoes and experience life through their shoes. So sometimes I'd come out of it and go like, dude, who am I? What, what did I just do? Yeah, you, you, know, can, like, get, where did I just you go? can lose yourself you know? in but the yeah, relationship. Yeah, you, you can lose yourself in a relationship if you're not too careful. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's interesting. So, and I think that's like what it is, is healing that. Healing the fact that you allowed yourself yeah agua see she's learning <coughs> drink that agua when you're coughing i don't know what, what to rhyme with that i i almost i was trying i don't to know <laughs> something i was too busy drinking to, 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 to make like a little nursery it. rhyme and it just didn't come to me i'm not a rapper <coughs> I don't really have that mind for that. Smoke too much of this. I guess. Uh, um, so anyway. I was saying healing in like a breakup. And um, mm-hmm. what was I saying exactly? How goodbye, no, Liz. I was trying to Damn rap it. over this. <laughs> healing in the breakup. Hold on. I need That's to. That's what remember. happens. Oh, when we're talking about oh. losing yourself, I had to finish the circle. I'm telling you, if you lose a thought, don't like resist it. Continue to allow the thoughts come back and to keep it in the back of your mind and you will come back to it. So anyway, when you lose yourself in a relationship, you know, the forgiving yourself at the fact that you allowed yourself to even be in that relationship and allowed yourself to even mm-hmm. be lost in that relationship. Allow yourself to basically give your, your power away. And that's a very, first off, that's a very vulnerable and hard thing i think to really honestly look at yourself and really admit that Mm -hmm. and really come to a place where you know there was some power giving away and there's also a sense of maybe you didn't know maybe this was based off of like a karmic pattern that you were living in your family or something right and so but anyway 
you know, I think any kind of relationship, especially like a breakup, especially when you've had invested like lots of time and energy and money and years and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of healing that can come from it. So like losing oh, sure. a part of yourself is a part of that. Mm -hmm. And a part of that healing process might mean... Drag. It might mean like trying out new things. It might be allowing yourself to explore so you can kind of become more comfortable with the new version of yourself. Or maybe just um, revisiting something that you used to do a lot that right. you haven't had time for. Right, you know? because like, of the relationship. For me, I did that myself. You know, I started playing guitar more. You know, I started yeah. you know, drawing, like, just, you Things know, that are for, a soulful connection. Things that help you connect and heal your soul. Like, playing <coughs> guitar right. and doing art is healing. And working out, too. Like and working I, out. I just decided, like, oh, my God. Like, I need to... Well, part of it was, like, man, I'm going to have to get back out on that dating market. Oh, boy, <laughs> I need to get in shape. But, uh, no, it was, it was that exercise, literally, mm -hmm. was a really great thing for both my body and my soul. My soul, I thought, like, I was even running... In the, in the mornings, like I would get up in the morning, the first thing I would do is I would put my shoes on, I'd go downstairs and I'd go out into the the, uh, the subdivision and I would just run around, you know, yeah. and, and just think, you know. I used to and do that too. It, yeah, it was just something that really helped me to, you know, reconnect to myself and understand like, okay, this is what I got to do now. This is what I got to do going forward because I ain't giving up, you know, and then couple weeks and later along comes me you know, you show up, so. and here we are look at this how beautiful is that how magical so, i love it <laughs> anyways so, so when it comes to healing though like there's the there is a certain like uh i think aspect that's personal and i think there's a certain yeah. level of it that you have to be willing and open to yourself right you can't just like with with modern medicine you know what i mean like you, you're basically like, okay, here's your ailment. Here are the medicines Pills. and the, the treatments for you. Take these and you're guaranteed a certain level of results. Yeah. And <laughs> with that, you know, it's Sometimes. just... Sometimes. It's not always really... Yeah. yeah, it's not always really as effective. You know what I mean? It's more or less trying to mask something that truly needs more attention. You know what I mean? So I think for me personally, mm -hmm. I found more healing in going within myself and mm -hmm. asking myself hard questions about what I think and what I believe and what I, the story I've been telling myself. Right. Reflecting back on the right. situation or reflecting back on like, you right. know, what, you know, brought you there, what brought you here. Just, you know, giving, putting yourself in a, in a space where you become the observer of your own life. Observer? Did I say that? The observer. The observer. The observer. <laughs> of your own life from a out <clears throat> from a objective perspective, from a perspective that is much different than you being in it. Like right. by going within, a lot of people don't think that by going within, it actually helps you kind of take a step back and not only <sighs> take a step back and like really be able to look at the bigger picture, but at the same time take a step in it's like a simultaneous whoa, 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 like whoa, 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 yeah whoa. it really does work that way by you taking a step inward you step deeper into yourself by by stepping deeper into yourself you step closer into the creator um the creator the dark the, the void basically where everything begins where everything is created whoa, 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 and then whoa, by whoa, doing whoa, that yes. You also have an objective because by being in there, you're essentially like the, the observer. You're the center. Observer you're the eye. Again. You're the observer. <laughs> but then you can also look, you can look all around you and you can also, you are in tune with the fact that you are also a part of what you are. Yeah. And that's, that's the, what stepping within really yeah, does. That's the That is the such a cool thing. thought. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when you I've think never about really it, thought about that deep before. See, the Olympia works. Well, I mean, when you think about it, That's amazing. a lot of our wow. traumas, a lot of our suffering, a lot of our pain, a lot of our fear, a lot of our anxiety, it all sort of stems from not knowing outcomes, right? Or not fully well, being connected to 
the the all of it you know like the the reason why you went through all this bad stuff you know the reason why you are going to go through other bad things you know like oh for, like why why those bad things or why those terrible things were relevant to your life right right essentially right. is that what you're saying yeah okay. exactly because when we're, we're talking about healing you know healing from what healing from your pain healing from your suffering, suffering healing, healing from, from your from fear trauma, healing from your you know whatever yeah, the hell it whatever is, it you know? is. and it but, could be anything small from anything it could be from somebody passing away from somebody um you know breaking up, breaking up with you, with you. Or, it could be something where a big life change happened and it was like you know positive like maybe you got a job that was in this new city and this job was like a new beginning, but that meant you had to leave everything behind. So it's like simultaneously, mm -hmm. you know, so there's healing in that too. Or maybe there's you had like, a trauma. Maybe you were, you know, mm -hmm. assaulted or maybe you were robbed or something like that. Yeah. You know, like there's a level of healing that you're going to need to go through to understand and process that violation. You and know? that's, and we've all had to heal <clears throat> from something. That's the thing. It's like none of us, in this life the, has not gone through some sort of healing and I, some sort of level. I personally feel like it is the best, the simultaneously, the, the best advice least. and the worst advice in the same, like, at the same time. Because, yeah, the best thing to know when you're trying to heal from something is that somebody mm -hmm. else has gone through it's this just too. Just remember you're not alone. I understand that. But it's like the worst thing you want to hear when you're going through that because then it's, it's like, true. what about me? me. You know right. what I mean? So I get that and that's when very you true. hear that when you're in pain, you know, it, it's difficult to hear. It's very difficult to receive. Um, however, you know, I think that, again, that is ego, you know. So it's important to check your ego and step out of yourself for maybe a moment and well, really think about what that other person is trying to say. And other things that might be helpful for you to reflect upon to get you through this you know like i know for me well i've had issues before where i've been in a lot of suffering or a lot of you know psychological you know kind of <clears throat> torment and you were asking me questions that were relevant and helpful but i could see where a less you know uh patient version of myself would have just been like fuck you you know what i mean like but I, for whatever reason, just <coughs> stood there in silence and allowed you to talk. And I just didn't let myself express anything I was thinking or feeling. I just let the emotions kind of come up. And I was like, okay, I'm feeling angry about what she just said. Why am I feeling angry? And I'm trying to figure out why. And then you would say something else. And then I would feel like scared or I would feel like I don't want to do that. And then I would think, well, why don't you want to do that? You know? So instead of instantaneously saying, well, fuck, I don't want to do that, you know, I think to myself, why is that my reaction, you mm -hmm. know, because that is more enlightening of a, a thought, or, or at least a thing to then work from, than just immediately, I'm not going to do that, Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, no, that's I all I was like, getting at. No, 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 I totally get that, because it's basically, like, you're basically saying, like, instead of you're allowing the emotions to come up, but you're expressing them in a way that, and I hope that it's, I never like <laughs> talk too much, <laughs> but um, you're essentially saying you're, you're asking yourself a, another question or two before you have a reaction. Right. Or I'm, before I'm you respond. Myself, I'm giving, giving, giving myself a pause <laughs> to actually think about what my reaction is to something before just... I react, you know? Because that's the thing I think a lot of us might benefit from, you know? Yes. Um, and it's hard because... I'm not saying we need it. I'm just saying you might benefit from it. Right. Because I think we could all benefit from a pause before we immediately gut react to something. Mm -hmm. um, I I personally know that when we got in a car accident, well, fender bender, yeah. um, that when it that guy accident. first hit me... I remember I whipped around to try to get a look at like what had happened and then I went back around as quickly and in that same thought it was like the same motion I had this voice that just said you need to calm down before you get out of this car and you make matters worse 
And it was like right at that moment because I remember I had my hand on the door handle. I was about ready to open that thing and fly out the car and assert myself. Yeah, and <laughs> so, I'm so glad and I did that not you did want not to do, do that. that. So anyway, in that I'm moment though, I, there was there was something inside me that said, you know, you need to calm down and take a breath before you walk out and and come at this with without anger. You know, I was just so concerned about and, man, you. I was I I had little concern about my well being until after that happened and we realized the guy had sped off and then all of a sudden yeah, that was my so neck got real tight and hot and I was like oh no we should go to the ER yeah but anyway yeah. enough about that yeah um, well, I'm I'm very grateful that everything is okay but the other thing I was gonna say too is you know I think also just listening to people and giving people space. And listening to like their pain and their because sometimes you know there are people that cannot and have not felt like there is a space for them to even express because pain and anger is also like expressing pain and anger is also healing I think that's like what another thing is like you know after you do like a breakup or after these other things is expressing like if you hold in all of that pent up stress and anger, um, in this, even sadness, it can build up and it can result in physical or it can right. result in like yeah. mental. It could just result or it could just, your spirit is just sad and down all the time. It's funny because I felt like we <laughs> were headed in that direction earlier in the show and then we skipped over that explanation and then we talked about something else and now we're coming back to it. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Yeah, because like I, I was just thinking like, yeah, I had that thought earlier in the show and I wanted to make it, and then I don't think either of us made it. So no. I'm glad that you put that two and two together for yes, people. Yes, me too. To understand that physical ailments are oftentimes triggered by an emotional or an a emotional built kind of, up or yeah. non response or something. Yeah. So if you know, if you again like expressing and being open especially if you've never felt safe or comfortable or even known how to be open is really scary it is so oh, scary yeah. it and, is I mean, so painful too we haven't even been in a place where we've been marred by society i mean like the lgbt community for example yeah. you know is one i'm sure you know the minority communities like the you know black and then uh, and blacks brown, and asians yeah. and mexicans and Just, arabics and we have no concept of what it's like to be looked at here. by society at large as you know something mm -hmm. that you're not and that has got to just be immensely traumatic for those people and the amount of healing that they would have to go through and I'm, I'm, I'm just but it's not in even awe right of how many people come out of that just absolutely celebrating themselves and who but, they are but that's it's amazing but that's how they heal through it is right. celebrating right. themselves absolutely. but that doesn't say that there isn't you know that pain or sadness or suffering that still exists i think the fact that celebrating themselves and coming out and speaking up about how you know, they're being mistreated, I think, for one, is healing. And that's the other thing, too, is, like, there are generations and there are people, like, that are born with these karmic um, things. They're born with this, like, generational kind of thing of healing. Like, so, for example, for, like, all those, like, uh, people that we listed, they were essentially, in a, like, in this current time, have been born with all of this trauma because it's attached to their bloodline. It's attached to, again, mm -hmm. it's also attached to the collective, too. Oh, Don't yeah. forget. Because like, we are all connected still. Talk about, um, like, a, a, an immense, complicated situation. It's very complicated. Where it's, like you, it's not only you and your, and your current and your own personal, and your yes. own little thing, but then but all, all of your other generations and generations around you that yes. you are connected to. Because... That, you know, you are not only you, you are also connected to your parents and mm -hmm. all of those people that are yep. connected through that yep. line. Even, even all of the other that incarnations. You don't even know about. Yeah, all the other even incarnations that we you've were had before. before. We were, I mean, you know, when we were aliens. that's the thing. I think I haven't hardly thought about the fact that, you know, we not only have 
past lives and future lives, but we have past parents and mm -hmm. future parents mm -hmm. and past children and mm -hmm. future children. We play different I mean, roles like, yeah, in different it's, lives too. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's insane. and time is infinite, so it's all happening at the same time. So that is all, in a way, <laughs> if you want to think about it in terms of like a visualization, I would say it's in, akin to like an ocean. Yeah. Right? Everything's sort of pulsing and waving, mm -hmm. and you kind of have this sort of mm -hmm. like, you know, ups and downs, and everything's sort of similarly connected and interwoven. You know, but at the same time, it's all in ways. I love you know, that we mentioned the ocean because I put a landmark here, and then we have Mother Earth here. So Mother Earth is made like of yes. with uh, happy, happy pudgy Buddha. Buddha. <laughs> pudgy Buddha. He's a fun guy. Mm -hmm. He's a fun guy. I mean, pudgy guys are always fun. I mean, look at that <laughs> face. Look at those dimples. No, that's a beautiful way of explaining it. So, <clears throat> so, how do you heal? <coughs> through all of that well we I, think about some things. I think celebrating Celebrate. yourself was is a great one That's celebrating true. yourself for who you are and <coughs> <coughs> that ah. does take bravery and courage because that requires you know standing up against the status quo for some it might require their lives being put on the line you know so it's not something that i think feels and or is easy for everybody to do but the more that we each do it as individuals the more power we give to the collective to be able to uplift and be truly who we came here to be and to celebrate their uniqueness their perspective because consciousness i think is here to study itself and to have multiple experiences and multiple perspectives and i think ultimately to, to learn and to grow and to evolve. And so that means we all have to in some way, shape or form, I think on some level. Oh yeah, I mean, in order for us- I felt like a for a minute, my voice, like my, for like, it feels like my voice changed. Like it doesn't sound like in my head, I don't sound like my normal self an, an right now. Being? I don't know, oh, it boy. kind of feels like it kind of feels like I, I don't know. Do we have a guest on a like... Dave and Liz episode <laughs> unexpectedly? What's happening? I don't know. Let's see. No. But it just this is weird. It just I know. It just felt like like I was like something like feels. Wait. Like so if I'm shifted. if I'm hanging out with you and you become possessed by someone else, is that like cheating? I hope not. I mean, hanging out in a more sexual way, but I didn't want to no, say Dave. that. No, Dave. I'm just joking. It's funny. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm it's funny. funny. I'm funny. Anyway. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes. Healing needs to happen on a generational karmic level in order for us all as a collective, I think, to really raise our collective consciousness. Yes. And it starts with the individual. Absolutely. It starts with Where you. Where else would it start? And... It is where else would it start? Where else? And you know, you can heal, I think, from any here's the thing. We have the power to heal ourselves, okay? Like, and if anybody tries to tell you otherwise, is not a true healer. Okay? And that's like a bold statement for me to say, but it's the truth, because we all have the power to heal ourselves. And there has been so much that has tried to tell us that we cannot do that or should not do that or we do not have the power to do that. And it's bullshit and it's not true. I will and I will say, <laughs> I will say though, in all actuality we do. However, it does take lots of dedication. It does. Lots of practice. It but but it does. Lots but of self actualization. Yes, so. you're you're absolutely right. But I think people need we need to remind people that Yes. I'm just that, saying, that, this that is what is you're true. in for. Yes. If that's what and you we, want to do. That's the path that you're going to take. And we're, and you know, we'll get into that. But I mean, you have to remember and realize that you have it first in order for you to even get to oh, those sure. points. Like, you 100%. have to, and it's, it, like you said, it takes time. It takes unlearning. It takes Shit healing. It takes facing your fears. It takes changing your life. It takes, like, different habits. I mean, it, it does require a lot, but again, you have the power to do it. You have the power! 
even, like you can do it. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. Nothing about it. I mean, I remember when we had a recent shroom trip, the, the first thing I said is that healing is not all rainbows and sunshine. It is like... It's true. It is... It's pretty freaking rough. It's feeling raw. Sometimes. It's feeling vulnerable. It's feeling like you're uncertain. You feel like your, your whole heart has been opened in order for you to like reopen and grow. It's like the Grinch growing three sizes. At, <laughs> and it hurts. <laughs> but, more, but more like the, the R-rated horror version where like... <laughs> Spirit rips his heart out of his chest <gasps> and then rips it into like a bunch of different pieces and then shoves it back in there and stitches it back up. Yeah. yeah. With love and light, of course. Yes, with love and light. <laughs> As I just call him on. Uh, As I just call him on all over the place. Yes. Anyway, just kidding. I think this, uh, with love and light, I think this Rochi okay. is. Coming. Yeah, I think it's it's not. not. So, yeah. so it you know it does like Dave was saying like it y you are gonna be in for it and it is gonna hurt and you are gonna be like why the fuck did I do this to myself and the point is is to heal and that is that is to healing heal. that it, healing is crying and sobbing your eyes out uncontrollably your demons. Confronting your demons, confronting your facing shame. hard truths, tell, looking at yourself in the mirror and be Peter like, man, Pan maybe you shit. did kind of do something that you shouldn't have. Or maybe you are more beautiful than what you've been telling. It could go either way. Um, Sorry. <laughs> you're I mean, like over I mean, here and I mean, I'm just an awesome like, reference. <laughs> And you and didn't, we didn't hear it. it. Well, because I didn't, I guess I, you were. You got to Peter Pan that stuff. You got a Peter Pan and gotta stuff. Confront you gotta confront your shadow. Yeah, that's right. You're yeah. so great. Yes, you have to confront your shadow. You have See? to work with your shadow. I did it. Work with light and shadow, babies. Okay. Babies? Yes. <laughs> Maybe the babies? No, seriously, though. It's, and it, like I said, it does like, take, it takes time. Yeah. It's it me? Laughter is also healing too. <laughs> Sorry, I just I had to. That's and what playing and being yeah, silly. That's like that's what play. consciousness wants to and do. And I feel like that's play. what happens. Like I feel and like that's also healing in ways. Ever since my uh, my latest mushroom experience, I uh, I've been taking marijuana and it just this play. It just yeah, like you just want to come out and be playful. So it's fun. Especially when the camera's on too, because it's like, ooh, play. Oh well, yeah, because here this is I can't this sit is... still. <laughs> I want to scribble, scribble, scribble. I want to scribble, scribble, scribble. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> it's just everything. It's everything. It's everything. Speaking <laughs> of, I should probably start at least packing or like preparing this next okay. little because we're about we're at over the halfway mark, right? Yeah, we are just a so, little bit. What are we smoking at? Uh, anyway. We got some uh, monkey mints. Monkey mints. Monkey mints. Twenty four percent, actually twenty five percent. If you want to you know, really look at it in actual Ooh. life, uh, there ain't a single drop of CBD in it, so it's like bam. So it's all THC. Um, yeah. Just, oh just man, 100%. I'm already pretty THC. high. I don't know how much more high I can get. Well, this is what we do for the show, ladies and gentlemen. I might, I might have to like take to, take it slow. Well, I'm gonna, uh, I'll gra uh, I'll put this together as slow as I can. That's not gonna. What is that? I love it. What is happening? I, I love it though. I almost, almost dropped the weed. Wow, that's like so Gemini. That was just for people who are smoking or doing other such things while watching this video. They're like, wait, what just happened? Like, I, I'm gonna go back to that. Rewind that. Wow. Did that just happen? Did I hear that? Is that slow motion? Was it just Dave? Did Dave? Was it just Dave yeah. that was in slow motion? Yeah. yeah. Wait. Oh, oh. I can't do it with this because it's too sticky. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We should, we should do it to where you're in slow We're motion. We're supposed to be talking about healing. But, and I'm like really fast. <laughs> what? That's insane. I know. That's the point. <laughs> this is healing. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, and I'm just going to talk about how 
Laughter is also a form of healing, especially if, you know, by being, by, I mean, just smiling alone uplifts your spirit, even if it is a little forced. Um, I think just doing things that are silly, you know, especially when you're super sad, doing things that are just really silly that, you know, aren't going to hurt anybody or anything. Um, in order to make yourself laugh, even if it's just like watching a silly show or um, reading a, a book that makes you like smile or like, you know, just doing things that bring joy, like joy is essentially healing. Um, and just, I love it. Marijuana is. <laughs> so that's why, like, I mean, think about it, like happiness is like, a form of healing but so is sadness I too laughter. laughter is my laughter medicine. is yes laughter it. is a good medicine it's a good, good that was like one of my like requirements in a partner it was you had to you really... must make me laugh <laughs> check <laughs> you know, like write a prince charming story about that oh yeah uh, you had a list of certain things that the guy had to check off and you had all these suitors all these suitors came I mean, begging at your door, did. and it's they all they true. all cleared out. And then that one last, li they just didn't make you laugh. They just couldn't make you laugh. <laughs> Every single one of those dopes. <clears throat> and then you met me. I came along and just I had you, Kathy's. You were right from the start. I was like, you know, I'm an artist, right? <laughs> I know. I, I, I can draw. draw. Greatest, that's all right. greatest thing ever. That's all right. I threw you into the fire because our third day, he met my whole family, essentially. All right. Too much information. <laughs> Too much information. Hey, I am who I am. All so, right. anyway. That. But that, I mean, that, that in itself was healing. I mean, I was so nervous to ask you to, to have you come. And the fact that you said yes, I think, was so healing because it healed my fear of, like, being myself essentially because i wanted to ask you and everybody was like telling me don't do it because it was too soon don't do this. but i just don't like do this. and i talked to my aunt and she was like if you think he's the one then throw him into the fire and if he does well he then you know he really one. is and i that was like that's kind of what i'm feeling and thinking and so and it was like okay i'm just saying I like understand. and here we are it was healing for us both <laughs> Hey, I just want to be honest to, about it, though. We don't have to though. regale everyone with our most intimate details. Why? At least not, at least not yet. Mm -hmm. Gotta buy us a drink first. <laughs> anyway, let's get to this. I mean, it's, Boom. they already know. I just want to say, it's just like, you know, girls can be afraid of those things, too, because of, you know, other things. Oh, and it was, oh. you are healing, Dave. You just, yeah, look at you. Look at you. You're healing man, you. Oh. Yes, heal me with your it's monkey mix. Ready? <laughs> you do it way... Oh, Jesus. You do it way better than me. It's, like, scary. <coughs> if I close my eyes, I'm I can, like, convince myself... I'm connected to my monkey. My Chinese zodiac is a monkey. What? My Chinese zodiac is a monkey. Mine is a tiger. Hey. Oh, that makes I'm so much tear sense. tear you apart. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I feel like you will. <laughs> I'm tear you apart. No, I'm like, I should scale it back. Scale it back, David. <laughs> You don't want people to worry about Liz's safety. Everything's fine. <laughs> See? I made you laugh. Wow. I did my job. Yes, you did. You're so I am, great. I am healing I you. love you so much. Be healed! Oh, my God, no! <laughs> I had what to. I had happened? to. I thought about that before the episode. We, we were, like, setting up and everything. <laughs> <laughs> We were setting up, and I thought to myself, I was like, oh, I gotta sneak it in there somehow. I know it's gonna be a joke, but I gotta sneak it in there somehow. <laughs> and I did. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so happy for you. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate that. Whatever. All right. <laughs> so, uh. Sometimes. You should, uh. No, now I'm just gonna hold it. Now you're just gonna lloyd over it? Yeah. And just keep it from me? Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. How dare you? Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> I think you guys are witnessing a moment <laughs> where it needs to be healed. Where things need to be healed. Where things need to be healed. <laughs> I'll show you what. Or what? <laughs> or what? What are you going to do? Happens. My goodness. 
Honey, we no, haven't I even talked about it your. All. We haven't even talked about your your I'm cookie just titties. Just kidding, I won't do that. My cookie titties. Yeah, your cookie titties. Show the good folks well, all your cookie titties. I think every all my folks have seen. You ain't my gonna see any titties. titties. Don't get all like. So yeah. cute. Yeah, no. They're just on the outside. They're just, it's from Detroit Cookie Co. Oh, the best cookies you <laughs> ever eat. Especially when in you're really life. high. Oh my God. Yeah. Especially, but they're even when you're not Munchies. high. They're not so sponsored. Good. Not no, sponsored. not sponsored. But oh my oh, God. Oh, that'd be so awesome so if they good. were a sponsor. That would be. Oh dope. my God. I'd, I'd be very happy out. about that. <laughs> All right. If you're watching this and you're from Detroit Cookie Company, hit us up. Yeah, for sure. Anyway. I love this shirt though. I do love it too. I know too. it doesn't match up with your titties a little. No, my titties uh, are like. It's okay. More accurately, like here. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, that's, all right. that's okay. It's though. still an awesome idea for sure. I no, I love it. I, really I love, love it. it. That's why I bought it. I was like, <gasps> anything that like emphasizes, you know, breasts or feminine. Yeah. Yes. Four, 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 four. Yes. Four, 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 four. four. <laughs> I said what feminine empowerment right up for Yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah, you did. And I was like, anything that's directed towards, like, you know, feminine empowerment, whether it be about the breast or our pussies or vaginas or anything like I'm that, sorry, I'm like you're, all about it. You're just over here, just like, a breast. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. This is who I am. I know, like, it's just, it caught me off guard. I'm sorry. And I, I know, I it, it caught you off guard, but yeah, because I'm so beautiful. Oh, right? oh <laughs> God, girl. <laughs> Do that to me. <laughs> this is also the last time. So, like, the season's going to be weird because we've pre-recorded some, oh, yeah. some, some episodes. And so this is, I'm getting, this is the last day of my hair like this. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to, like, change it, like, really <laughs> drastically. <laughs> yeah, like, really drastically. So, <laughs> so I'm very excited yeah, for it. I don't, I don't, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to be gone, like, all day. All right. And that in itself, like, doing things like that, too, is healing, too. See? Brought it back. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, so, like, I know for me, like, I feel like I have gone through an identity, like, shift in a way. I feel like I have grown as a person. And for me, it always has been important for me to be able to express that physically, whether it be in my hair, my clothes, my makeup, my See, nails, and things that like that. I've never felt that way. I've never had this, okay. like, I, I, well, I, I mean, I'm, it might be, like, part of the culture, you know? Like, it might just be uh, women are more apt to express themselves outwardly, whereas, you know, how they feel outwardly or who they are outwardly. <coughs> Whereas I think a lot of men kind of just like feel they can keep who they are inside. They don't have to be very expressive. You know, they don't have to, you know, I don't, I almost feel like from, I, I could be wrong, but I mean, you could disagree with me, but from a female perspective, you guys are almost like in a way incentivized to you know, have high fashion and to do things mm -hmm. very like bold so that you can stand out, you know, that kind of thing. Like, whereas with me, like, I wear gray t-shirts and like jeans all the time and yeah. they're like gray and black and like, like this is about as colorful as most of my you know clothes get but I feel so. like if you had money to go buy like new clothes right. I could definitely see you I mean, money like, does having... play a huge part of it that's for sure but I think that's like that that goes in like for me it's like I feel like and this might sound like I'm trying to make this sound in a way that isn't like superficial. Oh. Like, I'm just gonna keep doing this while I think. My Ooh. clothes and my way of expression and me being able to do that with my body, with my hair, with my, you know, with my accessories, to me is incredibly important to who I am. Right? So I always find <laughs> ways. Cool to make it work <clears throat> with what I got, which is why I love like thrifting, trading clothes oh, with boy. people, you know, even in that itself, like oh, doing wow. things like that can also be like healing as well, you know, finding ways to be like resourceful. Okay, can I make my own like clothes? Can I make my own makeup? Or can I, do I have a friend who does it that I can support, you know, and like her doing like my stuff. Um, so, you know, and like, by the way, uh, <laughs> I wish I had her business card. Dang. I was going to give my hairdresser a shout out, but I'll, I'll give her the shout out when like hey, transformation. I'll remember it for the next time. 
Yeah, but, you, you know, cutting hair, you know, like hair has energy. And so when you cut hair off. Everything is energy, y'all. Right. Remember that. You're also cutting off <clears throat> cords. These are like cords in the way because these are connected to where here, even if it's at the end, you're still connecting or cutting off the energetic cord to maybe something that happened. <clears throat> when you had that hair so there's a reason why when you cut your hair you feel like you don't just like <coughs> feel lighter because you just cut a bunch of hair off but like you definitely feel in your energy your energy feels lighter and you're sure. just like you're like yeah especially like if you're so tuned into it yeah if you're so like especially when you like watch a lot of those makeover like queer eye for example you can totally see like the difference and like you can oh, see yeah. how like the energy like it just changes Tep like yeah. just Putting, matching your hair to an, an energy that resonates with you, I think is important. That's why we see mm. in a lot of cultures, like Native American cultures, we see it in African cultures. Um, we even see it in like um, cultures that, you know, men who have like long beards. I think that's an Arab, uh, more of an Arabic culture, I was thinking, if I'm remembering correctly. I was thinking about it earlier today when I was looking at old photos of me. I was like, man, I should uh, just start thinking about trimming my beard up, you know. And uh, I don't know. It's uh, it is a an emotional thing in a way because you've mm -hmm. been growing it for so long, yeah. and it's been kind of part of your face for a long time. And to like watch a lot of it come off, I can imagine would be pretty. I don't know, jarring. Yeah. For me, right? I mean, it's because <laughs> there's no reason why I can't emotions. grow it back, you know. But yeah, it is a lot about emotions, a lot mm -hmm. about who you are, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but, but I think like detaching <coughs> from that, so you can allow this new person to like the, the newer version of you to come out, I think mm -hmm. is important. Like even like throwing away old makeup is like really emotional because like you feel bad cause you didn't use it. Or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's $35. I did it. True you. story. Oh my God. And I'm not like a huge makeup person. $187. I did it. You. I yeah, can just that's why I like, you know, that's why I like, you know, trying to, to be resourceful and that, you know, <coughs> I don't think you have to spend a lot of money to be able to make yourself look beautiful. Um, but if you want to go for it, but I don't think you have to, I think there are ways, but you just have to be willing to, you know, maybe take the extra steps or, you know, sacrifice a couple things, or maybe there's something you can find within, I think there's something for everybody, honestly. So I think if you want something and it's set on like what it is that you might be able to to find it who knows you know it just might take time and some trial and error and some other things so maybe there's like a lesson in it ultimately that's what healing is all about mm -hmm. is i think learning lessons and understanding more about who you are and, yeah and your connection to the all mm -hmm. connection to the i am yep um it's funny when i do so i just i've started doing this new practice in <clears throat> in a, in a uh, the idea of healing you know um where i wanted to send more gratitude and, and my love and my supported energy into this house yeah. into this land that the house sits on and that we occupy you know uh, because when you think about it like yeah like we we spend x amount of money to live here but what does that include? It includes a warm place to, to live mm -hmm. with shelter from the weather mm -hmm. and the elements, uh, water, clean water, uh, a place to store and cook our food, um, you know, uh, electricity for, yeah. for us to light our, our environment at night and to power our things and mm -hmm. to, to, you know, fill our lives with entertainment and wonder. And all the and other be things. Be able to do this show. Right. All the other things that I'm not remembering at this moment. But that thing that that thing that we all forget is that we don't ever give energy of gratitude to that, I think. Like I lived in my parents' house for X number of years, and I never once just sat there and thought, you know what? Thank you so much, house, for all that freaking awesome things that you do for my life like all the water and the 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 heat and the electricity and like the uh space to store my stuff and all, all that stuff mm -hmm. i never once did that 
Well, maybe, now, maybe part of it, too, is because you were, you know, in that perspective. You were right. a child at exactly. your parents' house. So the perspective has maybe shifted. Exactly. That's a great point. And I think that now what I've done is I've started to adopt that practice mm-hmm. every day, at least in the morning or at night. Mm-hmm. I, I spend time sending my gratitude, my energy of love and support to this house, to this land. And what I've been doing now as well, because I used to start just doing things one at a time. What I've been doing now is I just give gratitude to um, my story. And I think about, and I, and I say the mantra, um, I am grateful for all that I am and all that I have. And I say that over and over and over again. And while I'm saying it, mm-hmm. I start from the beginning of my life. And I think about all the memorable things about my life up until now. And I, and I keep saying that mantra up until I get to the present. And it's like almost giving gratitude and love and support to every facet of who I am from like start to finish. Yeah. So uh, that's my way of doing it. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people have different ways of doing it themselves that are a mix of what I just described and other things. I'm sure you have a very different way of doing it. Well, yeah, I love, <clears throat> I love you know, sending energy to the house. I also just love saying like, thank you to the house. Like, You know, as I, like, shut the door to my room, thank you, room, for letting me do all this. You know, just, like, just (coughs) acknowledging, like, different parts of the space. I think by taking care of the house is also showing the house love. So, like, making sure it's clean, making sure. And it's also the house as a reflection of you. So, it's take care of yourself, too. We're trying to manifest a house. We're trying to build a house, you know. And I think it only makes sense if everything is energy. To give a love, a loving, supportive, mm-hmm. right, grateful energy to the current house you have right now. Because yes. then you're telling the universe you have love and, and support and gratitude for your your home. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to help support you in building your home. And finding the home for you exactly. and everything. Exactly. I love giving offerings to the house. Like, I love to give, like, if I have, like, leftovers from my bundles, like, um lavender and like rose petals and like eggshells and like all kinds of like different things i'll like mash it up into this thing and make like a little magical concoction maybe put some essential oil in it and like shake it up probably put my moon water in it most likely and i'll go around the house and i'll offer it to the land and i'll bless the land and i bless like around the home and then i send love to like even the neighbors i do it with my uh, my bundles as well i have a bundle that I make called land spirits that I use specifically for the land. Yeah, or nature spirits. I keep mixing it up. Um, Oh, is it nature spirits? (laughs) Nature spirits. I kept going back and forth with the name, but called, yeah, nature spirits. So it's meant for the land. It's meant for the nature land spirits. Maybe it's nature land spirits. Nature (laughs) land spirits. Oh my God. Um, so that's what, how, and I liked it. Oh my God, you're so <laughs> Stop. Yeah, girl. That's right. I it's healing. Sometimes I, <laughs> I'll make you laugh, Sometimes girl. I'm just like, mm, you just that. know, like, the right, like, combination of, like, do, 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 and, <laughs> and I can get her. Yeah. I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm much more sneaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we only have a few more minutes left, so is there any last words, last things that we want to share with our lovely viewers that are so patient and watching us? That are so patient with watching us, yes, if you've made it this far, bless you. (laughs) Watching and listening, I should say, because I I noticed in editing, I was like, we we spend too much time, like, (laughs) just... Talking to our viewers and not our listeners. Yeah, so our podcast people are gonna be like, "What the fuck are they talking yeah, what about?" Are they talking about? <laughs> so yeah, we can't watch right. unless you can experience synesthesia and you can actually watch like sound and Ooh, <clears throat> whatnot that's an too. Thought. Sound is also healing, so listening to music Ooh, yes. as well and dancing. Beautiful. Yeah, and doing time. dancing and like things like that. So there's lots of things besides talking it with other people. You know, being like. Having conversations with other people that like are supportive and loving oh, of you. I think that's a, that's that's a really just basic thing. Everybody I think everybody it, knows, though, but honestly. just like from your own like self, cooking oh, sure. can be healing. Like Ooh, using 
Yeah, like well, you're 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 treat again. You're treating, treating yourself your with love. You're you're not just taking some. I mean, no offense to those who do this, but like you're not just taking something out of the freezer and just popping it in and heating it up. You know, like you're actually giving your energy into preparing the food. You know, I know that there are a lot of like really good, you know, pre-made things that people pre and you know, if you eat start out of using probably. that, maybe you know, Seriously. heat it up with intention at the well, very least. Yeah, at the very can. least, heat up with intention. But, but goddamn, I don't know. <laughs> I have this. I have this thing where I'm just like, go to the grocery it, store. It does take time. It does. Well, I know. It does take I time, know. and it does take learning it. and other things like that. I'm I know. sorry. I'm trying to be insensitive. No, but I mean, but, but you're, but you're right though. There is a thing of like fresh making your food. food. Is so important. Yeah, because it comes directly from Mother Earth, <coughs> and it comes like from you know you're putting your energy into it. You're mm -hmm. you're a part of the process now, and it is more wholesome, and it is more because you're paying more attention. You're you're being like you have you're knowing what the ingredients are, so you're putting love into it. Or you know if you want to get magical with it, you know if you know what all the properties That's of each magical. plant do magical. for the body, you can even make it a quite literally like healing concoction. That's like a soup, mm, um, really or like yeah, or even mm. just like a drink. You can make like a Delicious. drink that's like, you know. So just there's so many different things. So essentially, I think it comes back to anything that brings you joy. So whether it be art, whether it be healing, whether it be meditation, whether it be talking with a friend, whether it be dancing, whether it be changing your look, cutting your hair, cleaning mm, your house, you know. donating things, moving, you know, whatever. I mean, it could be like so many. It could even be booty. It could even be booty. It could even be booty. It could be, and it could even be cookies. Yep. You know, cookies just, and just not a lot of cookies. And boobies. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like I a mean, recipe for some great healing to me. Probably like a good. But, and so Mary you know, Jane is healing. Well, yeah. I mean, you oh can't, my God, we can't, can't, we can't leave we, out we Mary Jane. We talked the whole episode without even mentioning that. Well, Mary Jane is so healing. You know, that was like one of the first things I did after I had it's just so natural my sense. big breakup. And it was something I think that really helped heal through a lot of those things. It really helped me like me look at myself. It helped me like understand me like. Yeah, it told me a lot about myself and my life. It helped me grow. I think, you know, I definitely started to connect more to my higher self. I mean, like, look, here we are now, like, doing this. And I think there's something in it. We, we've seen so many studies where Mary Jane is quite literally healing for, for people that have physical ailments. Um, from anything <laughs> to, like, nausea <laughs> to cancer patients. I, just, I like to, how... Like, uh... I like how there was, I feel like, a little bit of a lull there in, like, the mid part of the con the conversation. And then, like, right now at the end, we're, like, coming up with all this stuff that we should have been talking about, like, 15 minutes ago. But we're just sitting here, like, all right, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we got a little lost then. <laughs> I don't know what happens. I think we got really high just, up there like, where, where words just times, were but... not... But anyway, we have, have run out of time. Yeah, so, we have run out of time. You know me, I got to keep a tight ship around here or else we're going to be I talking gotta for like two hours. I got to keep a tight ship around here, wow. I'm serious. <laughs> I, am I lying? Am I lying? Am I Leo? Luna Essence. <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. I'm going to douse you with something else oh yeah yeah all right bring it on. maybe i'll make sure it burns Ow! <laughs> just kidding <laughs> all right anyway i'm just kidding Liz, i wouldn't do that i wouldn't where do can that the i fine love people you too much yeah us. now he's scared of me <laughs> yeah where can the fine people find us you, you close out the where show can, the well here. i know where i can find you dave <laughs> my goodness see what i, I got to do it i got to do it see what i got to do it man <laughs> Just terrified, <laughs> going to sleep at night. She's crawled up next to me, whispering not... like, "I hope you have a good night's sleep. I hope you can sleep well tonight." Too. I want to do that. Be careful. That what would... you wish for? I would not do that. Yeah, that's exactly what she would do. <laughs> that's exactly something you would do. Anyway. Oh my god, you say it like I've done it before. 
Have you? I don't think so. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's finish up the show here before we uh, run way too long. Oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Healing. You're well, yeah. Very, in action. Very, very healing. Very entertaining for our audience, I'm sure. So if you would like to follow us on social media, you can visit our website at higher consciousness toffcom and there's a link to our Instagram and our Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel well, and duh. hit the like button. I mean, it's the greatest <laughs> show ever. Yes. <laughs> Show. It's like the Elf movie, World's Best Coffee. World's <laughs> Best Coffee? <laughs> Yay! But it is! Like, it's genuine. Like, I, lo I love I mean, that. I mean, I love this like, show. I love you know, that, I, I that, am that shot. It, so. That was a very, yes, I love this show, too. It's, it's just very, very Joe. <laughs> very me. And very us. <laughs> <laughs> we just can't seem to end the show. All right. Because this is fun. Because this is fun. This is healing. Right. No, no. Now we've now we're pushing it. Now this. Yes, we are. We are pushing the the. Yeah, the we segues. pushed the, the, that healing part. Just like yeah. Segway, segway, I was segway. I was trying really hard to make it make sense. Anyway, anyway so thank you so much tuned. for watching and or listening or both if you did that. That's right. That would be cool. I would love to know if you tried that. If you tried to actually listen to the podcast while watching the YouTube at the same that. time. It'd be pretty trippy. It would be, be trippy. To pull off. You it would be, be. pretty damn good at it. Especially if the it was all echoey and stuff. I'm sure it would be very <laughs> echoey. Quite echoey. <laughs> anyways. Yes, I anyway, hope you guys thank you so much and for making it through. And next time we're gonna have a special guest on to yes. discuss more about healing. Healing. And who's our special guest? It's Cole! Cole! <laughs> Just straight up cold. It's going to be fantastic. Yes, cold. We've already recorded yes, it, so we know yes. exactly what we're going to talk about. Yes, yes. Uh, but so. it's going to be super awesome. Yes, it was a great episode. That. A very lovely episode. Very, Absolutely. yeah, very chill. So. Very healing. So, yes, thank All you right. so Take much care, for guys. listening. Bye. Bye bye. Listen to more Higher Consciousness every Thursday on Spotify at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.